Here's some good news, is that you do not have to relive every single bad thing that happened to you in order to heal. My name is Carla Narragon. I'm a therapist and I've been doing this for about 20 years. My area of expertise is PTSD. I've been working in the addiction field for about the past five years because there is a huge overlap between addiction and PTSD. Okay, so let's say that you had some kind of traumatic experience which led to internalized trauma because you didn't release the pain. And let's say that that spot inside of you represents anxiety. Anxiety can be felt as tightness in your chest, an overwhelming feeling of sadness and hurt and anger all at the same time. It can be experienced as sweating, as fear, as a palpitating heart, a need to shut down. You have another event in your life because we live in a world that's loud and sharp and pointy and and things happen. So over a lifetime, you may have a series of events that step on that place of woundedness. And then one day you find yourself reacting in a larger than life way, which isn't appropriate to your circumstances because those tags inside of you are getting stepped on. So here's some good news. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Okay, so let's say that this fear, um, stress, sadness, anger, this is connected to multiple events in your life. Let's say each line represents a traumatic experience that resulted in internalized trauma. The good news is that you do not have to relive every single bad thing that happened to you in order to heal. Because the feelings associated with sadness, anxiety, fear, and pain, your nervous system can't tell the difference between one thing and the next. It just feels what it feels. So if you allow whatever's come up to finally come down, then you are releasing that emotional charge that is related to all of those experiences.